And then have the ability to go and look at the jury as a whole over many times to actually view them. Yeah. And um, there was one at the last state bundle that was actually um, was inconclusive, mm. so therefore they found in favour of the suit. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so I mean, it can go both ways. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Way. I didn't actually know that. I thought you just stuck with the decision it was inclusive, con yeah. inconclusive. So. Yeah, there was one that was inconclusive. That's good. Yeah, it was a breaststroker, but yeah, yeah. anyway, it's, a, it's an inter interesting thing, but I'm just yeah. putting that out there, so if you're refereeing at that level, um, if they say, oh, we've just looked at it, I would always look at it because it's going to be introduced at the jury as well, for yeah. sure. <coughs> because they're all pretty smart about it now, and they know it's around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and a lot of, um, not just yeah. us, I know that, uh, Graham, parents also take videos, so... Oh, yeah, because yeah. some of them, they don't have the they're same not great. Yeah. They're on a little uh, phone. phone or something. Yeah. Um, you look at those too, but they're usually very inconclusive. Yeah, yeah. But the other thing is if we're live streaming, <coughs> the vision from the live streaming is also very good. Yes, yeah. And they often use that as well. Right? Yeah, which is great. Yeah. Um, just using that for starting for the starting signal. Yeah. There could be a 0.01 difference yes. because you're only filming 50 frames a second. Yeah. So it may not give a full. I don't, yeah, I don't actually think I've ever seen one of those be overturned because they're so inconclusive. I've had a lot of people come, what, try and come and watch, which they do, they do, but I don't think they've ever been overturned yeah. because you can't tell, even with the light, you can't yeah. tell. Yeah. yeah. There could be that one, one yeah. hundredth of a second exactly. before the light registers where yeah. the screen is on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Senior Director for Compliance and Enforcement works at ACT. So one of my jobs is to have a team of inspectors that go out and check on compliance under work health safety legislation and the obligations for a PCBU, person conducting business undertaking to comply with the work health and safety regulation. Um, and on Thursday this week, inspectors came out to me and said, we've got a phone call from a parent who is absolutely irate and she's just taken a daughter to the hospital from a school swimming carnival her head hit the bottom of the pool. She continued to do the race, got out of the water. When the parent became aware of it, she said, I'm gonna to have to take her to the hospital. And she brought, raised it with the, the management at the facility, and they continued to keep diving in the pool. It's a shallow pool, but it met the actual guidelines of Swimming Australia's guidelines. In the, it was well within the parameters of the, the depth. Um, for, for um, competition. The actual policy right at the very bottom, although I'll just start uh, here. Do you want me to get to it? To, yeah, yeah. It? but I just a couple of things I want to highlight because we're, we're not, there's no criticism. There was a technical official from Screaming ACT assisting. If you get all the way from fine, possibly fine, I want to show you the very first thing. Now, from a regulatory point of view, I'll go straight to the bottom. There's a big problem, right? Big, big problem. Now, someone, you could turn around and say, oh, yeah, but we've had COVID. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Business as usual has obviously dropped off, but this is a good opportunity for these things to be reviewed. So Swimming Australia, I bet there's gonna be some recommendations coming out of my, uh, my team's investigation. I'll be taking back the Swimming Australia. If you go back up to the top, you can sorry, Paul, can you just bring out what that Oh, the policy is due for review by Swimming Australia in June 2020. It's a big 
problem. So one of the things that you have to do as, a, as a, an employer or as a PCBU, if you've got control systems in place as part of your safety management system as a workplace, you must continually review all your control systems to make sure they're working. On Thursday, there was four students who hit the bottom of the pool and the referee wasn't made aware of it. The big issue for me was my inspectors went back out on Thursday and the Friday to do some further investigations with the facility management and guess what they said? It's his fault he was the referee. And I said, no way. It's your fault because you were made aware of it. You didn't bring it to the attention of the referee because as, as we all know, you've got a, a carnival going on and you've got all that, you can't be across everything. The kids were actually presenting at this school carnival, there was a district one for Catholic education, so all the schools were together, to their own first aid officer that they had engaged, who had no idea that they needed to get the feedback loop back to communicate back to the referee that there's been an issue. The girl went off, she's got severe whiplash from hitting her head on the bottom of the pool. The other, uh, the other injuries were knees, so they could have displaced their kneecap or anything in the pool. So when you look at the actual policy, the other thing that I'm, I'm put my regulatory mind to this. Well, how deep is the pool? 1.2 metres. It falls, in, it falls inside the depth on this single casual. The policy does not relate to dive entry for novice or recreational swimmers <coughs> or dive entry without supervision of a coach, official, or water safety teacher or dive entry for open water environment. A big problem with that. Who here has actually ever really done any teaching of swimmers for dive entry? Put your hand up. There'll be a few of us. But it's, it's sort of indicating that there's a supervision of a coach official. Ouch. So how do we know to do an assessment to see whether someone at a school carnival has the proficiency to dive into the pool, even if it's at 1.8 metres? So just go down to 1.4, oh, uh, one, no, 1.8 one metres. <coughs> Preparation guidelines. To me, it's conflicting. A risk assessment checklist must be undertaken prior to the undertaking of a dive entry of activity of all pools where a coach, technical official or swimmer are unfamiliar with the venue or the current facility conditions. Novice and recreation, school swimming. You see where I'm coming from? That sort of conflicts to me. Policy doesn't relate to novice or recreational swimmers. Not every swimmer in a swim carnival is going to be a you know, competent swimmer as we have with, with uh, squad and club swimming. And yet, there's a, there's a requirement there to do a risk assessment checklist. When was the last time we did a risk assessment checklist at a meet? Anyone? Hey? Yeah. So, must be able to consistently demonstrate the shallow dive entry into water. Um, above 1.8 metres and deemed competent in the dive technique. Like you, you, didn't go back you didn't have 1.8 metres, you only had 1.2. Two, yeah. The other end of the pool is 1.8. But up there, it says it doesn't relate. So I've got a, I've got a, I've got a bit of an issue. I've got to work through this policy and go back with some recommendations. Um, and I'll certainly be passing it over to Graham with the TSC. So this is some of the things that are coming up. So, um, it's obviously the mother was very upset. Her daughter is a competent swimmer and a squad swimmer. She still hit the bottom of the pool. All right. So once we established that, we went, "Ow." Okay. She's a competent swimmer. She goes to country. One point two. Diving relay and also the signal back to the other end to do the 50s, required them to dive from a shallow end because it, the stopwatches weren't working 
down the other end. So semi-automatic system, not a dolphin system, it's a completely different system, all right? Unfamiliar facility to all swimmers, I would say they're novices, okay? And then the mother said also, whilst my daughter's competent, I don't know and she doesn't know where she's ever been required to stand on blocks and dive into 1.2 metres, ever. Off the concourse, yep, but not off the blocks. So, yes, Janelle. I just wanted to know, Bill, um, what's this affects us as officials? Mm. Because it puts some responsibility back onto us, of mm. course. Um, we're referring to, as you said, um, inexperienced competitors, mm -hmm. like. Part of education have their own policies around this? We have. So I haven't gone. We haven't. I've got to dig up a lot of stuff. Yeah. I've got to go back and have a look at the Catholic Schools Association in Canberra to find out what they're doing. My inspectors went out there on the Thursday. Give you some background. They went out there and they actually tried to establish who's in charge of the meet. And it took them 30 minutes before they brought two teachers over. And then when we went and had a look at the, the hiring agreement, the person that was in charge or nominated as the meet director from the school wasn't even there. Wasn't even there. So the school's got some issues as well. So there's a number of issues. But this got this policy, and if you just go to where the actual uh, parameters are for the dot dot sub go down. There. When I spoke to the referee, he said, Bob, we were inside the perimeters of the do uh, dive entry depth guidelines. And I went, and he, was, he just kept, his focus was just on that bit. We've got to rule, we've got to just wipe that out of the way. That is, I think that needs to be rewritten or actually have a nice big bowl across the top. You know, you must complete a risk assessment. You must be prepared to change if something actually goes wrong or if you think it's too risky. Don't necessarily follow that. But it fell within the parameters. All the measurements, inspectors went out. I gave them the policy before they went out to do all those measurements. And the referee kept saying to me, but probably fell inside the guidelines, but I wasn't made aware that there'd been 